What's up guys, Danny here and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this sort of arrow effect in my latest edit for Obey Vita and uh, I got asked a couple of times on how I did this um, I also got asked on how I did the motion track at the beginning of how it just looks so good <laughs> but um, basically I'm going to be showing you how I did it so uh, you're going to need a clip which is a bounce or something that's going to show a position to somewhere so uh, I, I did it onto the uh, car, which actually kind of looks quite good. Um, it wasn't motion tracked at all because for some reason the motion track just wasn't working for me, so I just did it all by position. Um, you can do position like it, it takes a lot longer, but it, it's it's not as accurate. But you know, it's just there if you need it. So the way I did it with my position is uh, keep on looking at one point on the video. So how I tracked it was uh, I kept it onto this little part of the wall and um, you know just kept the point of the triangle of the, the arrow sorry um, on that wall so it, it's not immaculate but uh, it still looked alright I guess plus I, I didn't have to do it by here because it was just going down anyway so yeah um, I'm going to show you how to do that so I just made my own to comp and uh, it's just a clip with these two things. Um, I'm going to take these away because I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. And um, it, it does. I'm not going to delete them because it's something to do with position that will confuse everyone. Um, all you have to do is render this out as a JPEG sequence. So if I go to render queue and I. Oh, wait. Add to render queue, sorry. So it's composition, add to render queue. And then it go best settings. Uh, this is fine. Let's go to lossless. And this takes a bit longer to load. Uh, but what we need is a JPEG sequence. Uh, make sure the format is on 10 for uh, better tracks and all that. And then just save this into a file. Don't put it onto your desktop because it's the most messiest thing going. I've already pre rendered this, so uh, it's in a file. And uh, then just hit render. So. Um, I'm now going to go into Oju. I've already motion tracked this, but I will show you how I did it. So let's go new. And uh, I don't know what I just did then, actually. Oh. Just closing it. Right. Just going to wait for this to open again, but it's still flickering for some reason. Um. Let's open it again. Bojo has been a pain. There we go. It should be opening now. There we go. Right, so we're going to import sequence and um, this is on my other screen for some reason. And we're going to look for where I saved it. So, which will be on my desktop under 3D and it'll be in touch so here and I'm gonna drag this over so it should have all your frames on there change the frame rate to 59.94 apply and then it'll change back for some reason but you just got a bug with it apply and then close what we're then gonna do is go to track features and then bring this menu over go to advanced I would use about that and then um, we're gonna boost this up because it'll give a better track and then go to start this shouldn't take too long, but for some, why is it not showing? For, oh, there we go. Just a little bit behind. Um, should go through this pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't actually seen this edit, then uh, click the link, link. Yeah, that was right. Link in the description, and uh, it'll take you straight to it. It's a pretty good edit. I had a lot of feedback from it, so it was awesome. All right, now we go to the next thing. Oh. I'm gonna drag you over here, and we go to um, camera, uh, la, 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 camera solve, and then we click these two boxes. They just make better tracks and everything. So this shouldn't take too long. So yeah, um, I remember someone asking me how long it actually took to edit that video. It probably took me about six days or something like that, and uh, yeah. I did spend a lot of time on it, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. 
Right, let's go to this frame, how about the middle, and then we go to sheet, scene geometry, I cannot speak today. Um, add coordinate from hint, and we're going to do the Y axis first. If you don't know how to use axes and all that, and you don't understand them, then go to 3D, and this is your camera, so this is where the whole action is, and these are all your points of course, and it'll have the X, um, Y and Z axis in the corner. Let's go back to 2D. Um, what we then do is, uh, right, so we've got the Y axis, so what I'm going to do is, what point shall I pick? Probably that, and that. So, connect selected, update coordinate frame, add coordinate from hint, then X axis, and I think the best would be... Um, probably this one and this one. Oh, you have to press control. Connect selected, update coordinate frame, add coordinate from hint, and then the origin, which is. Uh, I'm probably going to go with that one. Or maybe, actually, no. Yeah, okay. Click this one instead. Connect selected, up the coordinate frame, just a couple of times, make sure it's doing its stuff, and that's the best part done. Um, I'm going to export a couple of frames, you know, a couple of points. So, maybe this one, flag for export. Uh, I'll have something on the wall here. Um, gotta make sure, yep, yeah, they're on the wall. Um, probably choose this one, flag for export. Um, and that's about it. Right now we go to export, export camera solve, and then ooh good desktop, and then three D tut, and then we'll change this to After Effects Maya. I already did this before, but I'm just going to replace it, and then we change the scale to a thousand. Um, you have to make sure you do that and press this as well. So save. Yep, I want to do that. Now, back into After Effects, and we go to Top Comp uh, Project. Oh, let's go down. Right click, Import File, and then open that. And where are you? What was it called? Untitled. <laughs> Oops. Um. What is the latest one? It'd be this one. Okay. Control C. Back into the top. Control B. Now what we need to do is hold Shift and then just drag your cursor to there, and then begin bracket. And these are the points that uh onto the thingy. Oh, hang on, this is the wrong one, so I'm just going to open this one. Because it's the one we've just done. I made two of them, so I got confused. Control C, Shift, and drag to here. And then these should be the ones, the updated ones, so that's all good. Right now, um, the arrow, how did I do the arrow? So I used the shape tool. I'm not actually going to show you how I did that because all you do is just draw the shape. It's kind of easy, but because I'm using a mouse, it's kind of tricky for me and stuff. Um, but also, you can add text. And if we go to position, then um, find a null we want, go to position on here, copy the position on here, and then paste it. And that will be on that wall, but we need to change the rotation. So let's just zoom in just a bit. That's nearly dead on. Okay, now it's not. But uh, let's go 360 because that might be about right. Okay, maybe not. 359. Oh, that's 38. 359. Yeah, that should be about good. And then just drag this along 
maybe down a bit. And then we can change the blending mode thingy. So it's like graffiti sort of. Um, soft white. Yeah. Overlay. <laughs> there we go. So, how did I do the arrow? Um, this can be a bit tricky, but you can usually use a PNG or just do what I did. But uh, you could cr probably create it in Photoshop. But this is quite tricky to explain. But you need this wireframe to be like pointing up, and it's got to be straight and everything. So, um, without the effect, it just looks like that. Uh, let's find a position on here, and then. Um, this is also that position, and then copy, and then paste here. So, this is motion tracked, but not the motion track that we need. So, we gotta go to rotation and everything, and it needs to be about in this angle, um, weirdly enough, but because of the sphere plugin. Um, just doesn't like normal things so uh, for some reason it bends it like that but I think that's kind of cool you usually get a different result every time so uh, what I did was it's, it's all base of a ball and uh, you need a plugin called CC sphere and uh, you can just type it into here and you'll get it and if you reset it um, you'll need to fiddle about with it a bit uh, just to get it right and um, I try to keep it in line with the gun ish so this will take like two minutes or something but it will look good I think and you can also change the shading so what we can do here is right we keyframe this and go towards the end and we point it to here uh, there we go that's about right so it is motion tracked in 3d space but uh, the shading and the lighting looks kind of odd so um, let's change that so I'd probably do it around by here. I'd change the height to about there. So that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it looks quite good. You can tell that it's like three D and everything like that. Um, that's probably about it. But we need transitions and all that. So I think I use block dissolve uh, for the beginning bit. And uh, it was only like really quick, so we'll just do that. So click to begin in. Uh, yeah, that was that was the right one. So it's here. That's a hundred, and just a, like three frames ahead. And then we did a linear wipe at the end. Linear wipe. Oh, it would help if I spelt it right. Linear. I'm typing it one-handed here for some reason. Um, yeah, that's the right one, I think. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so we gotta try and uh, put it to put it to about sixty percent at the moment, just for experiments, and we want it coming down around the same angle as the actual uh, arrow just looks better um yeah looks all right right but it's a five percent feather or if you want to use more then you can but if we bring it here and uh click stopwatch and then at the end here when it's just gone just put it up to a hundred so it's only really quick but at least it disappears 
and for some reason it starts off earlier so we want it to about 60 or something percent sorry got an email for some reason <laughs> but uh, yeah that looks about right um, so yeah I'll just render that out and um, hopefully that's cleared things up because so many people thought like whoa that's actually pretty cool and hopefully it doesn't get overused because I know something like CC lens and all that gets overused which is a pain because I don't like it I mean I use it but it's not as overused as what everyone does so yeah uh, if this tut helped then please leave a like it's one of my first after effects tuts so it's not going to be the best but yeah I'll see you soon peace out